Alright, hello everyone, it's GStar321 here again, and today, as you can see, we're playing more Mortal Kombat Deception, this time Chess Combat. Now, Chess Combat is a very interesting addition to this game, and it's nothing like normal chess, you know. It's a hell of a lot different, and I will get into how it is different once I get going here. So, let me go ahead and start this up, Chess Combat. So the first thing you'll notice here is we need to build a team. So let's go ahead and do that. So on the chessboard, there are five unique pieces. So you've got your leader, which is basically like the king. Champion, you can think of the champion piece as the queen piece in regular chess. The sorcerer, shifter and grunt are the three sort of different pieces. So the sorcerer can cast spells during the match and I will get into that once we get going. The shifter is a really weird sort of piece that you have. You get three of them and basically oh, it's just hard to explain guys. I've got to really get into the game to sort of explain all these sort of different pieces here. But basically think of the shifter as the piece that transforms into another piece that you want to take. It's really fucking strange. It's just, it's a fucked up piece. And the grunt, you can think of them as the pawns, all right? So for the leader, which is basically my king, I will pick Noob Smoke because I know how to play them very efficiently. You know, I just did a arcade playthrough with them, so I'm really sweet. On those guys, for my champion piece, I always pick Raiden. You get two of them. And for the sorcerer, see the sorcerer pieces, you get two of them. These pieces, you don't want to move around at all because if they die, you can't cast any spells. All right, so I, it doesn't really matter who you pick for the sorcerer because really, you're not going to be using them at all. You know what I mean? Only in defense, you know? So I just pick Scorpion for the Sorcerer. Shifter, I pick Zombie Liu Kang. And for the Grunt, I always go Nightwolf. No, we don't want to save this to a profile. You can if you want. So here we go. This is what it looks like. And it appears that we are on the Deadpool stage, which is pretty cool. So before you even get started, you have to set a trap. I believe you only get one. I think because see you can press the circle button and that's like a fake trap to sort of fool your opponent where you're setting it but when you want to really set the trap press square so I'm gonna put it here there we go and basically if your opponent goes onto that square they will die instantly so this is it this is chess combat have a look at it it's fucking awesome it looks great so here you go, I've got my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 Nightwolf pieces in the front. They're my grunts, or you can think of them as the pawns. I've got... oh fuck, I've got to make a move. <laughs> I didn't realise I was under time limit here. Fucking bullshit. Okay, so I just moved him forward too. Now... Okay, and here we go. We've got the shifters, which are basically the zombie Liu Kangs. You get three of them. And I've got the sorcerers, scorpion, two scorpions. One has flames, and this one here has these glowing blue orbs. I will explain the differences between them a bit later. And we've got the two raidens here, my champions. And of course, my king, the leader here, Noob Smoke. So, oh, how weird is this? I've got a lot of time to make a move now. I don't know what the hell is going on. Maybe because I'm moving this around. So the shifters, which are basically my zombie Liu Kangs, they can move about five squares forward, back, and diagonally. Fucking hell. All right. Let's go on here. Basically, you can see on the chessboard there are two green sort of, I don't know, what do you call them, plates that you can stand on, okay? I've just moved Nightwolf onto that one there. 
basically what that does is that will give your entire team a health bonus all right so as you can see they don't have full health except for the champions raidens so every piece has different health all right so the champions always have full health your leader has 80% health the shifters have 50% health your sorcerers are the weakest, they only have 30% health, and your grunts have 40% health. Now, by going onto these green glowing plates here, like I said, that gives your team a health bonus. So, if I... Oh, fucking hell, we're going to make another move here. Alright. Let's see what the AI does. Nothing too crazy. Good. Okay, so, you're probably thinking, well, what's the point of having health? I mean... You know, in normal chess, if you move to the position of another player, your opponent, you know, their piece, you just take them. Wrong. In Mortal Kombat chess here, you have to fight. You go into like a versus mode battle, and whoever wins the fight takes that square. So, if you are amazing at playing versus mode here, you know, just Mortal Kombat fighting, one-on-one -on -one fighting, you'll probably win chess all the time, you know what I mean? Even with shitty health. But... It's really in your best interests to get these glowing green plates, okay, both of them. Because, like I said, if you go on one of them, that will give your entire team a health bonus of 25%. And if you go on another one, that's another 25%. So that's 50% right there. And whatever piece is standing on one of those green glowing plates then they will get a 100% health bonus okay here we go the computer's using a spell what the hell was the point of that oh I don't like this they just transported one of my grunts up there and that Melina is the Melina the shifter I think so yeah they've got three of them okay so if you press L1 you've got spells all right now you can see the spells are blue for the first four and then red for the other four. Now the blue spells are controlled by this sorcerer here, this scorpion, and the red spells are controlled by this scorpion here. Alright, with the flame. Same for the opponent's sorcerers. So if you lose, so you know, for example, if I lost this scorpion here, then those red spells you know, they would disappear as well. I wouldn't be able to cast them. Alright, I've got to make a move here. I'm just going to kill this Melina, this shifter. So you see the shifter piece sort of just transforms into the opponent they face. So, and look at that. See all the health bonuses? I got two 25% health bonuses because two of my pieces are standing you know on those green plates and also if you're the one that goes ahead and initiates the fucking hell hang on let me pause this if you are the attacking piece so to speak you know if you're the one that moves onto the square of your opponent and initiates the fight you will get a 10 percent health bonus so i pretty much started i mean i'm the champion piece you know what i mean i'm raiden so i start the fight with 100 percent health Anyway, it doesn't matter. Alright, I have to win this fight here. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, God. See, I don't really know... Oh, no, don't, 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 don't. <gasps> Get away from... Ah! Fucking don't you dare knock me in there. i got to teleport. Oh. Fuck! <laughs> oh, my God. Fuck! All right, all right, just calm. Fucking hell, I just lost my champ. That is fucking. That's it. Fuck. Okay, fine. Take me on. And see, the thing is, look, I damaged Melina quite a bit there. Or now that she's transformed into me, noob smoke. You'll see that. What the fuck? How the hell did she get all her health back? What is this? Okay, I have, to, I have to win this fight. 
basically the health should carry over between fights. Okay, I should be able to win this quite easily here. Goodness. Look at this AI fucking ducking bullshit. Get the fucking throne! Take it! Take it! Take the throne! Get out! Fucking there you go. Oh, look at that. Shang Tsung standing up there. I never even noticed that before. It's quite rare to actually play on the Deadpool stage in this game, especially for chess combat. You know, I've played about 10 games of this prior to doing this playthrough, and I never once fought on the Deadpool stage. Okay, so, where was I in explaining the ins and there's, you know, there's so much shit to explain in chess combat. Um, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and cast a spell, Resurrect. You can actually resurrect one piece. And of course I need Raiden back. Let's put him... I mean, you can end this game really quickly, you know what I mean? You've got a teleport spell. So, almost at the start of the game, you could, you, you know, you could basically teleport a piece to here, for example, kill this champion, and then go ahead and initiate a fight on their leader and end the whole game. But I do want to explain... What the hell? Okay, there we go. Yeah, I do want to explain the ins and outs, so I'm not going to end this game in a matter of seconds. Oh, okay. You want that green plate, don't you? You're not getting it. Come on, Nightwolf, you can do it. See how I'm on a power cell? I get 100% health. And she's just a shitty grunt piece, Sindel. So she only starts with... 40% health. Alright, I don't know many combos of these characters, so... Alright. Okay, what the hell happened there? Square, 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 L1, back X. Oh, fucking... God damn it, you know what? We're just gonna keep things simple here. What the hell's going on? Why am I losing? Fucking hell! This is embarrassing. <sighs> See, it's really hard to just play as different characters in this game, you know? For my playthrough, I played as Noob Smoke here, and I mastered him before doing that playthrough, you know what I mean? I knew all their combos. And Raiden, I sort of know some of his combos, but it's just really hard to remember multiple characters at a time. You know, it's not like the old school Mortal Kombat games where everyone's got a high punch, low punch, high kick, low kick. It's fucking taxing to learn multiple characters at once. So that's why you're going to see me here going into the moves list a fair bit. Mainly just for the combos. I know how to do all their special moves. Alright, um... Yeah, so... Remember on my previous turn, I resurrected Rain there. Now that I've used that spell, I can't use it again. So you can only use each spell once. Heal is pretty much self-explanatory. You can heal. Ah, oh, fuck this. All right. Let's get Liu Kang up here. Actually, you know what? I'll okay. I'll show you what I'm going to do for my next turn. Okay, what's the AI going to do? Protect. Why the hell would he do that? Okay, so that spell there that he casted. Basically, that means I can't attack that piece or cast spells against that piece for three turns. They're basically invulnerable for three turns. But why the hell would the AI just do that randomly? I had no intention of targeting that piece. All right, now, if you remember when I laid out my trap at the very beginning, I put it just to the left of where I am now, just to the left of this grunt piece, you know, the green plate. The AI very rarely ever goes onto that square, so what I'm going to do here is teleport one of their pieces onto that square <laughs> and kill them instantly. And you can't actually teleport sorcerers, which is a bit of a disappointment, and obviously you can't teleport the leaders. So let's teleport one of their champions. Have a look at this, watch. Watch, watch. It's not over yet. Watch. <laughs> Look at that. Fatality. Fuck yeah. That's just brilliant. 
All right, what else we got? So I've used those two spells. Protect, yep. Heal, yep. Kill, I mean, that's pretty much self-explanatory. You just kill your opponent one piece. Obviously, you can't kill... Let me just check. Yeah, you can only kill grunts or shifters. What else we got? Imprison. So basically, the three... Uh, sorry, basically the four blue spells are sort of like defensive spells and the four... Red spells, I believe they're sort of like offensive spells. I mean, kill, that's offensive, yeah. Imprison, that means you imprison one of their pieces so that they can't do anything with that piece for three turns. Pretty much like protect, except you're casting it against your opponent. All right, what do I need to do here? Uh, Liu Kang, go, fuck! <clears throat> All right. They really want these green plates to stand on, they, they want those health bonuses. Look at this, how fair is this fight? How unfair, sorry. What a joke. What the hell happened there? Oh god, see? You've got to... Don't... You fucking... Okay. Because it's the Deadpool, I can easily get knocked off the edge here. Square, 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 L1 circle. Oh, I'm in Taekwondo style now, alright. Square, square, back triangle. Let's try that. Ooh, that was cool. Okay, I have to... There we go. Yeah, and each uh, piece, I haven't mentioned this yet, but each piece, you know, grunts, shifters, sorcerers, champions, and the leader, they all have differing amounts of breakers as well, you know, so they all have different... They all have differing amounts of health and breakers as well. Alright, I need to do something here, but first I want to continue what I was saying about the remaining spells. So imprison, yep, like I said, you can imprison one of your opponent's pieces, and they can't do anything with that piece for three turns. Exchange, that basically means you exchange any two pieces on the board, which is pretty cool. So you know, I could exchange my Raiden champion, for example for their Sub-Zero Champion. But, I mean, if I do that, then... While it's ideal, you know, I'm right next to their leader, then so is their champion, you know what I mean? And they've got the next turn. Sacrifice, that means you just... kill one of your own pieces in order to heal another piece. That's it. But, you know, if you're on the two green glowing plates, you know, and you've got the health bonuses. It's pretty pointless. Oh my god, I'm playing a Sindel, that's right. I'm a shifter. I don't know anything about Sindel. I don't know any of her moves. Alright, forward, forward, X, back, forward. Oh my goodness. What? I'm, I'm really trying not to get angry at this. It's Fucking hell. Out of all fucking character okay, get in the Deadpool, this is the only way. Oh. <sighs> calm, just calm down. Calm down. Calm. It's okay. <sighs> oh now I'm fucking mad, you know what? Fuck this. Exchange my Raiden. I'm gonna do exactly what I fucking said. I'm ending this now. Fucking get over there. We're gonna kill Tanya. Yeah, of course. Try and take on my leader, you fucking asshole. I'm noob smoke. You've got nothing. I'm a master of this fucking character. Show me what you've got. Come on. Fight. Do it. Oh, fucking use those bre use those breakers. Use them. Do it! Why aren't I getting fucking... There we go. Oh. Yes. Take a fucking throw. Take the breaker. Take that. That! Fucking... God! 
You're not gonna win, that's for sure. Fucking sure. Oh my goodness. There is a possibility I could fucking die here. Oh, good! I was so angry that whole fight. It's unacceptable for me to lose one versus battle in chess combat. I'm disgusted that I lost there. But, in all fairness, I mean, I had to play as Sindel, which is a character I have not once touched in this game. Fuck. And that... Whatever. Fucking knocked me into the acid pool. Fucking bitch. Alright. So, basically, I could end the whole chess combat game right now. You know, just by killing Tanya, their leader, with Raiden. And... I don't know if I should, or show you guys some other spells. I don't know. You know what? Fuck it. See, I'm really annoyed that I lost that battle just before because... <sighs> at the end, you can get like a flawless victory. You know? Wow, this could be the easiest fight ever. Oh no. Ow, what the hell? Do a fucking... Okay. Fuck! God, this fuck... What the fuck is going on here? Why am I losing? That, look at that! Every time I do a fucking combo, they just sidestep it. Look at this! How did I... What? Why? Player two takes the square. <sighs> Impressive. I don't want to play this anymore. This is the worst I have ever played in chess combat, guys. The worst. This is fucking embarrassing. Look at this. Now I can't just teleport over there. I've got to go f Oh my god. <sighs> Fuck off, Sindel. Fuck off. I don't know why, I just wanted to. Alright, so I've got to get my other Raiden out now, and he basically has to kill Tanya. What the hell? Why would you fight him? What's the point? Fight. I don't know, like... You know what? Get over the edge. Get come back. I can't even bother. Just fucking come here and then you're going down. Get in there. Get okay, whatever. I'll take that. I've lost two battles and I lost with Raiden, but man, Tanya was she was sidestepping everything. I've never seen I've never seen the AI go that insane with the sidestep move. It was fucking unbelievable. Every combo I started, you know, she just fucking sidestepped. I couldn't believe it. Okay, that's better. Look at that. All I needed was one fucking combo, and that's all I was trying to do for the whole fight against Tanya, you know what I mean? Now, let's try and kill her again. Yeah, of course you're going to try and kill Raiden. Whatever. You're just a weak grunt with only 40% health. Fuck off. I hate Sindel. Fucking hate her. Oh, what's his combo in the Jujutsu? Square, square, X. Ah, oh, that's right. What the fuck? Mm. 
just take it. One hit, there you go. Alright, now it's my turn. And this is it, it's over. Now like I mentioned before, your health carries over during fights, so as I was damaged there a bit from the Sindel fight, see how I've got low health, but because I'm on, you know, those green plates, and see how Tanya's health is very low as well? Look at this, all i got to do is hit her a couple of times and she's finished. What are you going to do? Come on. Look at ya. If I just fucking stand here blocking, look, you do nothing. It's like, you know, it's like she's programmed as soon as I press a button to do a combo. Oh, okay, maybe it's a time. Alright, I can't lose again. Oh, no. Don't fucking... There we go. <laughs> By the way, I didn't do that fatality. Whenever you kill the leader, you're... you're you know, you do a fatality automatically, and for some reason Raiden kills himself there. I don't know why. Anyway, there you go. Look at that. I won eight matches. Uh, four spells cast. Didn't fall on any traps. Total moves 11, 14 pieces left. Now normally, if you don't lose a single versus match in chess combat, it'll say flawless victory. And that's what I was trying to go for here, but fucking whatever, you know. Anyway, that's it, guys, for chess combat. Um, it's actually quite a lot of fun to play. You know, pick whatever team you want. Choose your characters for the different pieces, you know, champions, sorcerers, shifters and grunts, and your leader, of course. The sorcerers, you won't really be moving around too much, so... You know, I think your champion piece would probably be the one you're going to be doing the most killing with, so pick a character you're really good with for your champion pieces, and then same for your grunts, I guess, they tend to kill, because, I mean, you've got eight of them, you know what I mean, you're going to be fighting with them quite a lot. Shifters are such a fucking, you know, I don't understand why they transform into your opponent's character, you know, unless you fight another shifter, then both shifters stay who they are, but, you know, if you fight your opponent's grunt, for example, with a shifter, you transform into that grunt. Why? It's such a fucking weird... I don't know, I don't really like the shifters. I don't think I don't think it was necessary, they could have come up with something different. But yeah, that's it guys, that's chess combat. It's a lot of fun to play. I played like shit for that playthrough. I'm fucking disgusted with it, but... Hopefully I've explained the ins and outs of chess combat so that you guys can jump straight into it. It is fun, you know, it is a lot of fun. If you win, that is, you know, then it's fun, of course. <laughs> I'm blaming Sindel that whole game. Fuck Sindel. So that's it, guys. My next video will be a playthrough of Puzzle Combat. So thanks for watching my chess combat playthrough. I'm out.